Hello, and thanks for choosing Pebblehost. Today we'll be taking a look at how to install Fabric onto your Minecraft server. As you can see, I've logged into the server panel, and I'm currently on a 6GB premium server. Now, if I wanted to, I could use the Jar and Preinstall menu, and then go to Other Preinstalls, and then select a version of Fabric uh, from either Fabric 1.17, which is the latest, or Fabric 1.16.5. Now this is only available if you are on premium or you have purchased the mod pack pre-install add-on, in which case then you'll have the option for fabric to be installed. However, if you're not on premium or you're simply wanting to install it manually, you can simply go to the fabric website, and that's fabricmc.net, and we're going to go ahead and download the universal jar file. So we'll click this button here, click save file. Now one thing to note while on this page is that it does say that most mods will also require you to install the Fabric API. Now the Fabric API is a separate mod that again a lot of Fabric mods will use. So for this we'll go to files and because we're using the latest version of Fabric we're actually going to download the latest version of the Fabric API as well. So to do that we'll simply click here. Uh, which is the latest build and click download. So as you can see on my desktop here, I have the fabric installer. I'm actually going to create a new folder just to stay organized here. And we'll call this uh, just fabric and then drag the fabric install into the fabric folder. So now that we actually have the jar in the folder here, we're going to want to open this with Java. If you're unsure how to do this, you can click open with and then select Java from the options list there. However, by default, mine's already set to use Java. So I'm just going to double click and it's going to pop me up with a little uh, GUI. However, we're going to actually click server. And from here, we're going to select the version that we're wanting. So we'll do 1.17.1 and we'll just leave the loader version as default here. Now, because we put the fabric installer in a fabric folder on our desktop here, it's already pre-selected that location for us. So once we've selected our options, we can click install. So this will install all of the necessary things we need. And it will say that the official Minecraft jar is required to run the fabric uh, jar file here. And we will need to install that. So we can simply click download server jar. And that will download our server jar as well. And now we can go ahead and click done. So from here on out, all we need to do is delete the fabric installer because we no longer need that. And we can also go ahead and delete this folder as well as this is not necessary either. Once we have these two files, we can go ahead and pull up our server panel and we'll go to the file manager. And once I'm in here, if I have any pre-existing files, I'm actually just going to go ahead and select them all and delete them. And what this will do is just prevent any sort of confusion whenever we upload our fabric files here. So from here, we can just simply highlight these files, drag and drop them into the panel and wait for them to upload. So once these have been uploaded, we're actually going to copy the name of the fabric server launch jar file. And this is probably going to prompt it to download, but we can just click cancel as we don't want it to do that. Um, and we'll go back to the main server panel page here and erase what's currently in the server type field and enter in the name of our uh, jar file and click save. So once we've entered in that uh, jar file name, we can go ahead and click start to start our server and we'll click console to monitor the progression of that. So I've gone ahead and started the server, but as you can see, it's actually gone ahead and stopped or crashed. Now, the reason it crashed is because we're using Fabric 1.17 and we need to tell the server what Java version to use. Previously, we couldn't have told the server what to use because the file in which controls the Pebblehost loader was actually removed whenever we deleted all of our files. The file that controls this is the pebblehost.yml file. So now that we have that back because we started our server again, we can click the pebblehost loader and go to the Java version here. And because we're running Fabric 1.17, we'll go ahead and select Java 16, click Save. Go back to our server, click Console, and then click Start. So as you can see, now the server is just starting completely like normal. Um, while currently we don't have any mods installed, installing mods is extremely simple and we'll go ahead and show you how to do that once this is fully started. Okay, so as you can see our server has fully started. We'll go ahead and click stop uh, because we will be installing some mods here. We'll click file manager and now as you can see we have a mods folder. We'll go ahead and click the mods folder, click upload and we'll click file. So while the server was starting I actually went ahead and downloaded the world edit mod for fabric. And I also had the Fabric API um, already downloaded uh, from whenever I downloaded it from before. 
So we'll go ahead and just click open on both of those to upload um, both of these to the server. We'll go back to our server's console and once again click start. All right, so once again our server has finished starting and now we have both the Fabric API mod as well as the World Edit mod installed into our server. That's going to wrap it up for this tutorial. If you have any questions regarding anything we've covered in this video, feel free to join the Peblos Discord and we'd be more than happy to help you there.